Man, when have you seen Kanye in a room full of people that he didn't put in the room? You see what I'm saying? People talking. And matter of fact, T.I.'s talking. He's on Ebro in the morning right yeah. now. How long did, uh, how many days ago was his record made? Man, it was 24 hours before he put it out. So I think it's third. No, nah, it was Friday. It came out Friday night. It came out Friday night. So y'all made it on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday evening. Yeah. And mind you, man, like, I just haphazardly, man, just happened to have seen Kanye, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and I hadn't, when I saw him, I didn't, I, I, weren't, I wasn't aware of, you know, all of the, the, the controversy. Social media. All of the controversy, you know. Uh, but we exchanged numbers because we hadn't seen each other, you know what I'm saying, since, since I really, I think since I got out of prison, perhaps. Um, and, and we exchanged numbers, and when we left, I guess overnight I started seeing it. And then by the time I got up the next day, I think, you know, then something else had happened. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. So I hit him. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? You know, let me get with you, you know? So he hit me back immediately, like, okay, no problem, man. I'm gonna have my people hit you to see when you can do it. Oh, like, okay, cool. And uh, his people hit me and they gave me a date, which was for the next day. And then the next, by the next day, it was even more shit going on. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, more things. Yeah. Uh, and so I think at this point, I'm like, yo, you know, because I mean, because our conversation was just real casual. I was like, right. yo, yo, I'm going to have to address this. You know what I'm saying? I can't be able to sit around and not say this, you know, right. not say nothing. So when I get there, you know, you get there, you walk me around. It's just, you know, his facility. This is his a, crib or this no, is no, no, his no, office? No, no, this is just the building. Okay. Just the, building. the Calabasas the compound. The Yeezy, the Yeezy building. Yeah, you know, future man. Apple headquarters. Yeah. yeah, something like that, you know. Uh, you know, he walked me, you know, I seen, like, you know, you know, Yeezy, like, season 17. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of future ideas, which I was like, yo, man, I'm proud of you, man. It's dope. You worked hard at this. And then, uh, but I had to, but I had to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, he was trying, trying to clamor like, you. Whoa! Here was when they when take the teacup. When are those coming out? We're like, whoa! Stay hitting focused. you with the teacup. Stay focused. Take you to the Stay second place. Stay focused, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, we walked into a room uh, and sat down. And then he said, yo, I got a few things, you know what I'm saying? I could play you. I was like, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. But, you know, uh, let, me, let me speak to you right quick. I said. And so then me and he and I stepped outside. And then, you know what I'm saying? We, and I said, hey, man, listen. What's up, bro? Like, I mean, I'm sure you got it all figured out. I'm sure, where's the punchline? This, you know. That's a great way to put what's it. What's going yeah, what's on? What's the punchline? You know, and he was like, yo, I'm just, just free thought, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're like, just, you know, I, I'm, I, I felt free to be an independent thinker. I'm like, what does that mean, though, bro? Like, you can't think independent without siding with someone who goes against the people who have supported you all this time. Right. And uh, and he's like, that's such a freedom that we have. And, you know, I'm leading with love, and you know all that. That that you know the spiel. Y'all heard the spiel. Yeah. And I was looking. I'm like, yo, bro, this makes sense to you. And he's like, yeah, you know, it's you know, it's like when I was wearing skinny jeans at first. Said the same thing to me. This is I the say, skinny yo, jeans say, bro, of bro, politics and society. I say, listen, bro. I say, bro, listen, man. When you wore skinny jeans, that shit didn't affect none, nobody but you and maybe your nuts. That didn't have nothing to do with nobody else. And nobody else cared that you were walking around with skinny jeans. That, you know, it didn't affect us for real. But now this is affecting us because, you know, you... You side with the other side. Bro. Not only that, but we've supported you in a way. And, yeah, and, and you and, have a responsibility. And you've become a face of a culture. Sure. And then, and you the know, community. and we were going back and forth and back and forth. Then I said this, and I saw something. I said, uh, I said, have you, have you considered, like, you say you're leading with love, but have you, have you considered all the people that you hurting? Like, you sacrificing all of them just to love him? Mm. And he said, no, I didn't, I didn't think of that. Maybe I should have thought of it. I said, okay, so, so when you have an idea, how often do you, like, challenge this idea before it hits the air? I said, well, I just usually think and go. I said, yeah, 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 we need to, we need to pull. So then he started, then he started, you know, now I see his mind working. Like, you know, if so, I said something that made him consider. So we, we continued to talk. This was like two hours we had just going back and forth. Going over these things, going over these things. So glad you're a parent, man. 
parenting really helped you with this, man. Those seven children you have same really way you helped you with well, this. Same way you challenge your children. Wow. Yes. Like, wait, did you think but he's about not a child, no, man. No, but he's he, a savant. Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but in some ways, people, adults, are children because they're still ignorant. I, they're still I, babies I in mean, certain I arenas. He's I mean, a baby in this arena. I mean, but Politics. check this out. Check this out. The man has, he said, what he said to me, which kind of let me know that there was no malicious intent involved. He said, my subconscious spoke to my conscious and moved me to do this. Like your subconscious. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, and I heard my son talk some subconscious talk because he's, you know, reading psychology books and practicing hypnosis and and stuff. So I've heard this subconscious talk before. The and Kanye is fresh the, out of therapy. The, the, and the third therapy, eye you know. and, you know, my third eye's open and I can see, diff- you know what I'm saying? I've heard this, this I've heard this kind of talk before. So I already know just to be open-minded. And one thing when I walked in there that I had noticed is nobody had ever asked him what the play was. I didn't hear anybody ask him, like, what's up? I just saw, like, John Legend kind of confronted him and kind of told him some things. Right. And then, you know, when you tell Kanye something, Kanye tell you things back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard nobody just open the floor and be like, man, what's up, man? Where your head at with this? What's going on? So I approached, you know, I, they in psychology, they say they have the, um, what is it, the, the giraffe approach versus the jackal approach. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The giraffe approach is I just lay it out for you, and then you know what I'm saying like you know how when you, and then you kind of like take what I laid out, and then you come and you take some steps toward me with the conversation. Then I lay a little more out, and you take some steps. And but the jackal approach is I'm gonna just go at you, man. What you, what are you doing, man? Come on, man. Is this stupid? You stupid. You know what I'm saying? Then that call the jackal approach causes you to, you know, be defensive and hostile and so on and so forth. Mm. So I, I knew that wasn't the way. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just led with logic and kind of tried to see where he was coming from. And the longer I spent talking to him, the more I started to kind of see what he was saying. Now, if you just hear him say something in 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you're going to think that he's lost, his, he's lost his mind. He had his mind. But it, the longer you, like, kind of hear him speak, the more he speaks about it, even when I don't agree with it, it's kind of like something that I feel like he's working through with his own personal, through his own personal journey. You know what I'm saying? Well, in that song y'all record, he says, I was in a sunken place and I found a new me. Yeah, well, I mean, see, that's If a you part- found a new you while you were in a sunken place, that may not be the you that you while you was down there. That may not be the real you. That may not be the real you. I mean, I think I, I, we won't we won't know. I don't know. So, I can't. I, well, I don't also think tweeted, I'm skilled He also to tweeted say. 11 hours ago, stop thinking about things for a long time without saying what you think. No, that's, that's the uh-huh. opposite. That's the opposite of what Tip told you. Uh, that's the opposite. Hey, man, but look, though, one thing about it, I think that all of the great genius minds of our times, you know, have all had preposterous hypotheses or conspiracies or philosophies, you know what I'm saying? I think that, I think we kind of got to give them an opportunity to work through it. I just well, some to, people aren't giving them an opportunity. Well, you some know people what? are that's, tired of the noise. And, I t- and that's another thing I asked them. That's another thing I asked them. How much are you willing to risk? Like, what are you willing to lose? Well, it's in the it? song. You said it in the yeah, song. Yeah, what you willing to sacrifice? But, they, but everything I said in the song are only just me repeating the things I've been saying right, for four hours. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just continuing to go back and ask again, and then we went from being by ourselves, and then we walked in the room and included everyone else into the discussion maybe two hours later. And we had another discussion in the room with everybody for two hours. And, you know, it just continued to go on and go on and go on. And, and finally, you know, he, 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 we got back to, you know, talking about music, and he said that, you know, he had a song that he wanted me to listen to. And, you know, so then I heard the scoopity, scoopity. I like scoopity plu because I feel like that's what's See, coming that out of his mouth that, right that, now. Hey, that, that it's scoopity plu. That felt, that felt. I felt a sense of condescension there. Yeah, of course. You know what what I'm saying? Saying? Well, it was a shot. It was a shot at anybody challenging. Yeah. It was a shot at anybody and challenging. I, and I, and, his I, and that's when I said, "Man, you playing now? Now you playing? Like for real? Where, okay, nice joke. Come on, man. Come on. Where's the music? You know, I mean, I never thought that he was going to put that out, though. Well, he put it out, sure and did. I play it. I, I played it every day since I since it's been out because, A, it's funny. Yeah. And, B, they we're watching somebody. I have somebody, laughing at it He also. doesn't like me laughing too. at no, it. I don't, I'm not laughing. Yeah, we're not laughing at it. But it, I, I think the problem for me is I don't, I'm not taking anything. The only thing I'm taking serious with Kanye right now is what he's playing with with the MAGA hat. 
and the people he's aligning himself with. His thoughts I don't take serious because I don't feel like he's re he's researched them enough. I don't feel like you know enough. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I feel like you're learning in real time in front of us. Just yesterday on your social media, you're posting text messages from people trying to tell you the difference between Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> like you're learning right now in front of us. Right. But not because you want to read. Not because you want to go do the research. Just because you want to toy around with society and see what, and troll people. And see what people get emotional about. But that's why I stuck mm. off the thing that Tim said early in the conversation. You said, Tim, you said one thing that was really important, though. What's that? You said, if you want to do all this leading with love stuff, that's great. But why did it have to be? Why is free thinking associated with Donald Trump? That's the confusing I mean, part. And, and I think the part that I think that the justification... Once he, once he makes it about his personal journey, it's hard for me to critique him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm like, yo, like, like, what makes you think that that is the right thing to do? And he's like, yo, that's the thing. If I was thinking about it, I probably wouldn't do it. But I, I my subconscious tells me to move. I just, my spirit, I feel like I got to I move. I gotta move. So when a person say that, it's hard for you to say, don't listen to that. Listen to me. <laughs> I know more than your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Oh it's hard to say that, bro. But it's How true. you gonna tell somebody that? <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, as long enough. as the person is them. saying, hey, uh -huh. yo, man, hey, yo, man, I'm not doing it to hurt nobody. I, I'm not a white supremacist. I don't believe, you know, this is not, I'm not, and, and whenever you talk about how it affects his fans, he he postures himself different. You, he can't. You can tell he cares about that. You know what I'm saying? But like, he was like, "Yo, my wife don't like what I'm doing, man." You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, man. The CEO of Adidas don't like what I'm doing. I could lose like all this. I could lose my wife behind this. We don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, John but then Lennon. I mentioned his like. But then I mentioned his fans. He like, oh wait a minute, hold up. I ain't think about that. You see what I'm saying? And I noticed that, and that's what. Made me feel like nah, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on them. I think this is a little. This is a. What's little been the feedback you've here. gotten from people? Because I know when I we mean, played your record, people was like Ti standing next to Kanye. How dare it, he? But check it. I don't care about what people say about me, man. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't challenge my pedigree. I've been putting in too much work, too That's much right. for too long, man. That's you can't right. do that. You know. And also, if he was on the other side, somebody like don't shouldn't we have some one of us at the table? Right. Shouldn't it be yes. at least one of us at the table? Can we Not have just a clear yes. thinker, though? Well, whoa, 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 whoa. We just need, for real, we need someone with a sincere passion who's going to actually say what's on their mind. If we get somebody at the table who has enough clear thought to where they can filter what to bring back and what to keep, you see what I'm saying? That's more dangerous. You, right? someone, you, you mean someone who represents the feelings of his fans who are hurt by what he's saying? Is that what you mean? I mean someone who can understand the plight perhaps and if they were at the table they could use their care for these people to and use their their influence which table over is here. this which, which table is this i mean the table with the, with the cats with the red hats i guess man. <laughs> and why is that and why is that table the one we supposed to be at you say what why is that table the one we got to sit at well, because I mean, I, I've taken I mean, a position with a lot of these people. I don't want to well, talk. Well, listen to them. now. Let me ask you a question, though. Let me ask you a question. And I mean, I'm, I'm with you. I don't want to talk to him, but get what? He right there, so we ain't got to talk to him. He talking to him, so we ain't got to. We can talk to him. He can talk to them. I mean, I don't want to talk to him either. But exactly, we got funds and budget. Well, you just told me but his no, brain and his mouth ain't working together. But I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I <laughs> so, didn't say that they weren't working together. <laughs> no, it's that his brain and his subconscious are disagreeing. Got, got, it, got, it, got, it, got it. I didn't got say it. they weren't working together. I just say everything that comes to his mind don't necessarily come out of his mouth. But well, they're not working together. Oh, then. I'm, I'm concerned uh, now. Tim, I mean, at any point, did you ask him what does "Make America Great Again" mean to him? Hell yeah, I asked what, him. What did What did he say? Man, that's, and don't say "leading with love." Nah, man. I think I think that he he had. I mean, just to be honest with you, he didn't have a sufficient. Exactly. Answer. None of them do. By the none way, none of them do. He no, had the he had the girl. Them. I mean, he he said. I think the industrial age with Henry Ford. I believe something like that, but. That, but that 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 did not suffice for me. So it's a financial it's a financial <laughs> grade again. I, I guess so. But the thing is, I disagree with. 98% of what he's saying, but the fact that he's saying, I want to take the power away from the hat, just like we did the N word. No, no. you didn't I, take the power hey, away whoa, from the whoa, N word. Whoa, whoa, it whoa. didn't work. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I don't know. I think that's a, that's that's a much stronger argument. That is a much stronger argument. It, it then got to where white people are uncomfortable when they hear the word, kind of. You know what I'm saying? When when they hear the word, they, they hear the N-word, they be like, ooh, they cringe the way black people used to cringe when they heard it. I mean, yeah. Okay, so that, that's kind of, that's shifting the power. It may have that. shifted, but the power's still there. The N-word, we don't use the N-word on the radio. It's still a curse word. It's a slur. It's well, offensive. I mean, Rappers use it in songs, but it's still... That's bureaucracy. That's fine, but you I mean, didn't let's take talk the about power culture. Away. Let's talk about culture. Let's not talk about okay. what's suitable for radio. Yeah, Cause, but... Because we can't smoke weed at the radio station neither, but, I mean, it kind of happens. It definitely happens, <laughs> but you can't drink neither. There's yeah. certain things well, that are just... Okay, sure you can. But to Ebro's point, though, if the power I, if is I still there. Out, if I said the N word right now, it would still be offensive. A white dude said the N word; it's still yeah. hurtful. It's wrong. A- absolutely. So to you're that, not changing the power of. And by the way, the hey man, again part. Guess what? Sure, I sure. I don't know whether or not you know. what I'm saying, I don't believe in him putting on the hat neither. And I'm telling you. By I the worked, way, talking I to you, I'm hard. not. By the way, talking to you, I want you to know. That. I want I you to know, we're him. only talking said, to you because you talk to Kanye. What do you mean? Meaning, like, we're only talking to you with this tone because you're the one that talked oh. to Kanye. Right, right, we wouldn't be coming at you crazy. Nah, man. I mean, unless you was wearing my no. hats, then we <laughs> would be coming at you crazy. That ain't, hey, get what? That ain't never, you ain't never got to worry about it. Did, did it hurt your feelings when you saw the picture with him and Leo? And then that, that, that stung when I saw that picture. Oh, before. you know what? I hadn't even began to start to even process Leo's involvement. I hadn't even began to process that part. Yeah, me too. I hear you. But he didn't have a hat on, to no. be honest with well, you. Well, Lior called me right after I posted the photo and said, please, can you put under your IG post that I was only there because I'm not going to leave my friend who I disagree with hanging. I mean, and I, I think was everybody kind of the everybody kinda feels that way. Well, but, T.I., would you pose in a picture with him wearing the MAGA hat? Uh-uh. That's the point. Why Lior posed in the picture? Though? Uh-uh, but look, though, Lior ain't, that, he's just way different. That's, that's, I don't think, you know. It's, uh, you know. That's not, I think that's different. He get a pass on that. I think Leo gets a pass on that. I don't know. I, I think Leo gets a pass. On I mean, that. he called me concerned. Yeah, you he can't. Have he, so you media. can't expect Leo to be held responsible for everything that goes on, you know, in the pictures that he takes. I just know that I, I would never think. pose smiling, holding up a hand signal with someone else wearing a MAGA hat. I couldn't do it. And the thing uh, about that hand signal, now you know on the internet, they said that's the white power hand signal. Oh, right? whoa, now wait a minute now. You wait a minute that? now. I didn't, didn't, didn't get you deeper. Yeah, they, that little, this okay sign. I thought that was Pyru. <laughs> this has been a lot of things. Basketball players throw it up, but then the internet's like, no, that's white power. Yeah, I don't know if that's and, real. And Leo's uh, team has know. the company 300, and that's supposed to be that 300 oh, that's sign. that's the 300 sign, yeah. yeah. And John Cena goes like this. Bro, everyone does this. I'm not I'm getting Just that telling man. you what the internet says. Hey, look, man, I don't... I, uh, have, I, you, have you spoken to Ye since the song and since the weekend? Man, you are, man, we've been speaking every day. Yo, he call, I told you he called people every... He called <laughs> me mean, yesterday he again. Every, I've spoken more to Ye in the past, since, in the past two weeks than I have in the past 10 years. So he's just constantly talking to people to gain information. No, like, not really, man. I think, man, I think, you know, man, to be honest with you, I think he's happy to speak to people. I think he's been, like, hermited for so long that he's happy to just be like, man, we, just, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? Like, I, I ain't saying we talk about this. Does he make sure to say that he loves you every time? No. I mean, when I, when I get on the phone, I'll be like, love, you know, just, you know, like, peace. You know what I'm saying? So no, he makes sure every time I love you, he brought. I Every mean, time. Well, that's your catchphrase now, too, though. So. I put t-shirts. You got a t-shirt and everything. Yeah, I mean, but 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 the thing is, I don't. I mean, I think he on a personal journey. He doing something that none of us understand, and you know, we just got to make him aware of the things that could potentially hurt. I'm gonna tell you right you now. Yesterday, when right. he called me, he tried to give me the girl Candace Jackson's phone number. You mean Candace own? Right. Um, and he um, I said I don't f with her. I, don't, I think she's mean, and I'm yeah. not going to have her on my show. Yeah. And he said, yeah, she is kind of mean. We've hey. been talking to her about that. You know what? And the we Who part, is we? That's, what, that's where we're at. Who is we? Hmm. Whoa, so now what there's a we in the look- picture. Not a Nintendo we. <laughs> a we with Candy's on. We have been talking to her about that. His representative. That's where we're at. Who is we? Hmm. Oh, so, you know another thing, though? You know another thing? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. This is something that, you know, 
I don't know how many of y'all gonna take this seriously, but he is emphatically, certainly serious about writing for president. I just want you all to know this. I was told this too. I'm talking about this is a real thing. Like this ain't no, you know. Oh yeah, you just, you know. Now this, now you did, now you dead ass. That's just you New Yorkers say it. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> He's dead ass. You know what I'm saying? And I mean. And we haven't even gotten to that. I ain't even got. We haven't had that discussion yet. But I can see from his conversation that he did serious about that. It came up multiple times. I mean, just kind of like, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, twenty-four. Well, yeah. then twenty twenty-four. Then it's mm-hmm. a good thing that he started learning yesterday about the differences between Republicans <laughs> and Democrats. <laughs> hey, hey, Wait. listen. Get what? With the guy we got up there now, man, you can't even use that to make fun of nobody. Uh, no well, that's how he started. You can't even. Oh, look, what does he know about politics? Uh, 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 right, uh, you right. can't even use that no, no more. That right. ain't even. You're right. Man, please. No, I'm not 